Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support and in this video I want to demonstrate in Corel Draw how to use a um, kind of it's called the the Viganet tool it's also what I consider a fading tool in Corel Draw it's pretty neat you can use it with your bitmap images and um, it basically will fade around an image and you can also create the shape you want it to fade in. So the best way to demonstrate it is just to show you. So let's get started. What I have open here is a, uh, a bitmap image that I have um, pulled from my files just to demonstrate. Uh, you can use this tool with any bitmap image uh, that you may have on your end as to practice and also to, uh, to I guess, get better using the tool. Uh, I would start off just practicing and then um, from there choose some of your images uh, for demonstration as far as techniques with this tool. I'm going to click on the bitmap. I'm going to come down to uh, Creative and again this is Corel Draw X6. It will also work in some of the earlier versions of Corel. Um, from Creative I'm going to scroll down to the, to the Vignette tool. I'm going to left click there. Now what I have here is the dialog box and in this dialog box um, these are all the clicks or options that I have. I have color, shape, and adjustment. Okay, um, So let's start with color. We also have a preview so as we're making changes we can click on the preview just to see what it's going to look like without actually making or permanently making the change. Okay, Should you not like something you want to get back to a point where you started meaning back to the original file you just click your reset button and that'll bring everything back to where it was you can also have the choice to cancel out so you don't save anything I recommend before you do anything in Corel always save your original files uh, and never to never overwrite them so you can come back to them and uh, do other things with them later on so let's get, get started just for an example just to show you some things you can do with this tool it's a great tool um, so I've chosen the color black. I can also choose white or I can click other. And if I click other, I can jump down here and just choose from my color palette. Okay, more colors if I want. I personally usually will make changes just using black or white. Those usually give me the best, um, I guess, output or the result that I want as a user preference. But you can use other colors as well. Just play around. I, I highly encourage that, that you do play around with the tool before you make permanent changes uh, to any of your images. So this will get you started on how this works. Um, I'm going to choose black as a demonstration. You want to choose a shape. We'll start here with the eclipse and uh, these are your offsets okay and then you have the fade so this determines how much offset meaning how much of the image that you're going to offset and this is how much you're going to fade using this uh, color black with the eclipse so let's real quick just for fun and our giggles let's just click something make some changes here and then we'll do a preview okay so you can see how this tool works you can also choose white do a preview okay now if I want to change my offset a little bit so I can get more of the picture in I'm just gonna move this I can click on the bar I can also type in the field so we just click somewhere in this bar and then let's preview and see how the image opens up so that I can pull in more of the image and shade out some of that background now the fade what it's gonna do uh, it's gonna give us I guess more of a uh, or should I say more of a, a casual fade versus a a, um, a sharp fade so we're just going to click OK I'm um, sorry get back in here bitmap creative jump down here vignette okay and so the fade again um, we're just going to preview what we can do with this fade so again, if you want to see the extremes, click far extreme just to see how far you can go with this fade so you can see the example. Now if I move the offset, I can preview as well the extremes of the offset. Okay, um, to choose the color black, we 
we can also choose a circle and preview the offset. Changing the fade in and out, we can change that as well. And that's pretty dramatic right there. Okay. See a rectangular shape. All the different changes that you can do using this vignette tool. And if I want to, you could just reset, go back to where you were, or just cancel out. If you don't like something that you've done, click off the image here and just do a control Z. A control Z will undo anything that you've done to the image. Say, for instance, you made a change, you accidentally saved it, or you okayed out just as I did. We can also do a control Z on your keyboard. And that'll, that's like doing an undo. Um, so you can undo something from, from your work. It'll take you back. And the more you do a control Z, the further it'll take you back. So again, uh, how to get to this tool, you go to bitmap, creative, I'm sorry, click on the image, go to bitmap, creative, and then go to bignet. Click on your options here play around with your fade and your offset and that's how you can make changes using this tool. It's a great tool to use with your bitmap images. Uh, I hope it helps you. I enjoy using it. Have any questions feel free to give me a call. My name is Vicki. I'm at Condi Systems. Thank you.